Hello, welcome back and uh, to part three of the uh, longest video I've ever shot. I did notice when I uh, reset this that um, I had put over here a uh, semicolon when in fact it should be a colon, so you can pay attention to that. Um, so let's continue on. Uh, so we're creating a new instance. We're trying to write this C++ program that's going to allow us to make multiple instance instances of a class. Uh, what class is it? Well, it's the Max Sonar uh, Pulse Width class. And um, so, like that. So, NAR Pulse Width class. There's a special symbol to uh, two uh, colons that uh, designate whether or not you've got a new entity of this particular class. And um, we're going to go ahead and call that. Now, um, keep in mind, we want every time we create a new one, if I have one, two, three, or four, or five of these hooked up, they're all going to be separated by the input pin. So that's going to be um, the most uh, defining characteristic of each individual entity. So let's go ahead and put that in. And what separates it? It's the in pin. Okay? So now we have our. Um, ability to create multiple instances of this particular class. And so the first thing we need to do is we need to, much like a setup, well, we need to set it up. Well, well what we're going to need is for sure this pin mode, right? We need to tell it um, which what to do with the pin he wants you to tell me which pin it is hey what do you want it to be well i want it to be an input okay and the next thing we need to do is we need to tell it to share the information from the private variable to this public space so that we can actually use it and we do that by simply going ahead and pulling in the in pin the private one is equal to this one, which is in pin, okay? And now we have set it up so that when you give it a value here, it's going to insert it automatically into here. And now the next thing we do is we need to, uh, we've got our class sort of defined. Now let's go ahead and actually do something. And in fact, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call, let's just copy and paste these right over here. And we're just going to change them. Okay? So, for example, the read pulse. Well, what read pulse is it? Well, it's going to be this class of read pulse. So, I'm going to put that right there. Okay? Um, which in pin is it? Well, it's actually going to be that private in pin that we've set up over here. We want to go ahead and, and place it in place. And then the next thing is, well, we're going to convert to inches because we're going to build a lot of these things as quickly as I possibly can. Um, well, what, what do we want to do? Well, we want this class, okay, this class to convert to inches. And now we've pretty much taken everything but the serial output information from here, okay, and we've made these subroutines, these uh, the C++. So it'll run sort of independently. And I'm going to save that. And I'm going to save that. OK, let's make take a quick look here, make sure it looks OK. I've got the Arduino stuff. I've got this referenced in my C++. I've got this file here referenced in it. I've got a class. I'm going to say, oh my goodness gracious. So nar, okay. Every time I call upon it, I'm going to be able to redefine it or set it exclusively to a new in pin. I can set the pin, set the mode of the pin to input. I want you to understand that this private one is going to be equal to this public one. I then am going to, if I call upon the read pulse, well, which one is it in? It's going to be the one that's associated with this max sonar class. And if I call upon the convert to inches, it's going to be part of the same class. So all of this stuff 
pretty much covers everything in here minus the actual serial. I changed that a little bit. I'm going to save it. Okay. And let's close this out. And then I'm going to open up a new instance of the Arduino software. And let's make a new one. I did that because I, sometimes it doesn't pop up until I reinstall it. Let's make it so it fits in here nicely. Let's go to import a library. And let's see if it's there. Hopefully it is. Yes, it is. Max Sonar. Click on it. Oh, look at that. So this has now been included in my program automatically. How cool is that? Okay. Well, what do we know we need in our program? Well, we're going to need a setup for sure. And we're going to need a loop. Okay. What are we going to have in our setup? Well, we're going to still want to see our data. So I'm actually going to pull this right here out and I'm going to put it in my setup. Um, hmm, I don't think I need to do anything else because all this pin stuff is going to be handled by the, the subroutine that I'm going to be pulling up. Okay. Um, so now I want to do is I want to actually call upon it. Uh, I have to create an instance. So let's do that. In other words, I haven't yet created my, my Mac Sonar. I haven't called upon my class and actually placed it in my program. So let's call upon it. And it's a pulse width. Hopefully I've named everything right. And it's hooked up to, uh, we'll leave it to the same one. We'll hook it up to pin five. Okay. So we now have created that Oops, I'm about ready to do that again. I have, I'm gonna make a fool of myself. We need to do a max sonar pulse width is equal to, you know what? This we can call anything we want. We can call it um, max uh, data. Let's call it max data one. Okay, sorry about that. We've created. We've pulled upon this class, we've created a new instance, and that new instance is going to be hooked to pin 5. Okay, And in general, I've set up a serial so I can output my data. Now let's go down here. Well, what do I want to do? Well, I want to read the pulse. Okay, well, I can copy this, read pulse. Am I just reading a pulse? No, actually I'm getting the read pulse for the new instance that I have created. So, which is going to be the Miss Max Data 1 instance. And I want to read the pulse. Okay. From, well actually let's just look at that. So let's just see what it does when we output it. Um, serial, let's see. Print new line, and what am I going to print? I'm actually going to print out this max ln. I'm sorry, max in. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see if we have enough information here. Check it. And, oh, look at that. I just forgot to that and we'll check it again and was not declared in this scope what did I do I've left something out oh dot see it's because I'm not talking about this variable is it tied in with the C++ so therefore I have to tell you it is that particular instance of this class max in. That way I could have a whole bunch of these. I could have one hooked up to pin 5, one hooked up to pin 6, one hooked up to pin 7. Each one of these will have its own name and each of these are going to output a variable. Okay, 
So now I've told it exactly which instance of this class. And we'll check it. And boy, you're watching many failures here. I love checking these things for. I forgot the T. How silly is that? And oh, it's looking good. I think we're going to make it this time. Oh, yay. OK. So let's go ahead and upload it. Program it and let's see what we get. Control Alt Shift. No, Control Alt. Control Shift M. Oh, I have to highlight this. Control Shift M. And voila, we're getting data. Let's uh, put in that delay. Um, let's say 1000. Okay, let's load it up. Control Shift M. Awesome. Okay, well, hey, I said I wanted to actually convert to inches. I actually want to see what this looks like. Well, that's no problem. We're going to take, I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to copy this. Okay. And now let's just do, um, let's get a converted inch, inches. I'm going to take this. Control C, and we're going to put out inches. And let's load it. Control Shift M. Nice. And let's make it a little easier to read. Let's put that. Um, And let's say that is uh, values equal to. And get rid of that line. And let's set this, Control C. And we're going to say inches. Load it up. OK. Awesome. Okay, so you can see it's working really well. Okay, I'm at 13 minutes. Um, you can see how to create this. On this next video, which will be my last, I promise, I'm going to add a whole bunch more options that we can call upon to make it truly worth your while. So we're going to have it convert to who knows, we'll convert it to centimeters, we'll convert it to inches, we'll convert it to meters. And then you'll be able to just call upon it uh, here and make it go. So hopefully this video is useful. And I'll see you one more time in just a couple of minutes.